here's Keith and I having a little spar. Now, one thing you can see here is, even though we're a couple of old guys, we still love to play. Now this kind of play is a lot of fun. These sticks are real sticks with light padding, but they're light sticks. So they're fast. They uh, don't hurt too much. They do hurt a bit. Enough to let you know you've been hit. But I mean, this kind of sparring, Keith and I can do all the time and not have to worry about getting injured. This to me is one of the funnest ways you can, uh, you know, still be playful with a friend, right? This is, um, this is just such an amazing, fun way of playing and hanging out with each other. This brings me back to being a kid, playing in my backyard with uh, homemade weapons and beating the crap out of my friends. No regard to our own safety. So it's better than that because we have safety equipment. We have padded sticks. We have helmets. It's just um, really a great way to express movement, work timing, work coordination. Um, it helps your cardio. You get, you get uh, winded when you're doing it. It's good for fitness. And for myself, if I'm able to play, I'll do it. I'll exercise. You know? So every time, every time we have a, you know, we stop and we salute. It's just a matter of respect. There's a lot of respect involved in this kind of play. Oh, yeah, I did see that one. Yeah. You can see we're having a lot of fun. Now, the beauty of this is, as I get older, I can still do this. My head's not taking any big impacts. Um, you really got to be aware of that when it comes to martial arts training as an older person. The brain really shrinks in men as they, you know, get into their later years, which stretches out the blood vessels that are attached to the skull. And it becomes easier to get a brain bleed from impact when you're older. So... I don't know how many more years I'm going to be able to box. I'll keep going as long as I can because I love it. But I don't care how old I get. If as long as I can move, I'll still be doing this. I'll still be playing. This isn't something that I have to stop. Also, when we stay away from bare sticks, although Keith and I do it every once in a while, we spar with real sticks just to make sure we're moving. But uh, as you get older, it takes longer to heal. So the more bruised up we are, the more um, long lasting pain we have, the longer it's gonna take to get better from that. So. This is just a nice way to keep, keep active and keep sparring as we're getting older. Our main targets are the hands and the head. Though I like going for the body quite a bit. But uh, as you can see, sometimes his hand gets in the way of my body shot. And uh, I like to hit, oh, here we are. Here he is showing me where I just hit him. Oh, nice, nice little welt there, Keith. You know, that we do that. 
Um, he gave me a nice one on my back when I ducked under. I thought I was being smart, hitting him in the belly. I left my back wide open to a nice smash down that he gave me. Belly shot for a back shot, I don't know. But anyway, this is what we do. And we love to express ourselves through sparring. Oh, got his fingers. Now he's going to show me where I got them. Yeah. Um, and this is what we do. If the camera wasn't rolling, I, I would do the exact same thing. But I wanted to show the whole spar. So I didn't, I didn't edit anything out. I just show... I, the only thing I did edit out was our breaks. So I wanted to show um, the entire thing. So people can see what it's like, how much control we have, how much respect we show each other, and how fun it is. You know, it is just a hoot. And I hope you enjoyed watching this. If you stuck to the end of this long ass video, thank you very much. And um, look for more videos like this. I probably won't show full spars anymore, but uh, or not very often anyway. But uh, have a great day.